Hey y'all, it's Warren. I am back with a, another video, not a tutorial. Um, nobody cares, but um, I thought it'd be great to, you know, I haven't made a video in a while. I thought it'd be great to come back and um, let you guys know, first of all, I'm still alive. But secondly, uh, Jai Paul just dropped his album after six years. Uh, for those of you who do not know who Jai Paul is, imagine um, Prince, guitar skills and vocals, decided to use some Indian influences and some crazy electronic production techniques and make the sickest danceable groovy tracks that you could imagine. Jai Paul is, was up until today music's the music world's Bigfoot there's literally a page on Facebook you can type in where is Jai Paul J-A-I-P-A-U-L where is Jai Paul nobody knows where he is and like they cite him and you know they're like oh I saw Jai Paul getting off the tube today he's from London but um Jai Paul is a big deal if you don't know about him because number one he's an artist and he's doing amazing shit number two he's uh his album after let's start at the beginning he made a demo called jasmine okay look up jasmine by jai paul and this demo alone got him signed to xl i don't know about you guys but when i make a demo xl doesn't really notice but his demo was so good that uh it got him signed and then Later on, Drake sampled it, and like a bunch of other people were just like, oh wow, Jack Paul, this, this is great. And he came out with another one called BTSTU. Um, he didn't call it a demo, uh, but for whatever reason, BTSTU was not a demo. It came out, and it was elevating the bar even more above uh, Jasmine, if, if you could even quantify it like that. But Jasmine was incredible. BTSTU is incredible. These two tracks are just... Amazing. You never heard anything like it if you haven't heard Jai Paul's music. And after two tracks of like gold or platinum material, uh, everybody was hyped about this guy. And um, a friend of mine didn't know who he was uh, today. So I, I, you know, decided, man, how can I describe his sound? And, you know, he uses saxophones. He, he uses crazy synths. Uh, he designs these awesome, awesome patches, you know, like whoever's trying to like, um, you know, learn synthesis and sound design. I bet you could like take his tracks and just create a, uh, a weeks of, of, you know, fiddling for yourself, trying to come up with some of these crazy synth sounds he gets. He, he ends up using these ridiculously cool like samples just from like movies and uh, these little quotes of little snippets of conversations and um, it. He, he's uh, of Indian descent, so uh, I imagine that's where he got some of his uh, uh, influences for, for the Indian sounds that he's putting into his music. And he's just a huge inspiration to me. I mean, he's part of the reason why I, I got some of this new gear I'm still setting up um, over here. Um, I, I wouldn't have been, I'm like more of a hardware musician over here. My guitars are over here. But like getting into this stuff, it's all because it's all of... Well, I don't want to say it's all because of him, but, you know, part Tom York, part, part Jai Paul, part James Blake, Bon Iver, whoever uh, is getting into, like, electronic music production. There, there are all many reasons, but Jai Paul, he's, he's a big deal. And he finally created, he released his website, he launched his website today, dropped his album that was initially leaked six years ago in April 2013. So after... Going back to this story, sorry, this is all scatterbrain, but after the first two songs were released, he, you know, everybody's waiting with bated breath, like, where is his album? Where is Jai's album? Is he ever going to release it? In April 2013, he uh, supposedly, purportedly, uh, leaked it on Bandcamp, right? And so everybody's like, what? He dropped his album. Let's go download it, you know? And people thought it was a stunt by XL. And immediately, I think it was the next morning, Jai said, these are not. Uh, an official release. This is not my debut album. Um, and the whole thing got shut down. So, of course, once it got on the internet, it spread. Everybody downloaded it and thought, wow, this is incredible. There's like so much amazing stuff there. There's like this cover 
from a, a 90s song by Jennifer Page called Crush. If you guys know that song, that's a good song from the 90s. Um, but he covered it and he totally, he he did something, he, he jied it, you know, he like, he made it his and his version is just, it's, it's incredible. I can't, I can't really even describe what he, he just, he makes it his own and he really does something special with it. You have to hear it. Um, listen to the original and then listen to his. And uh, apparently a lot of uh, those songs were completely like, he considered them unfinished, but people downloading it are like, this is so good. You know, how could this not be his debut album? What's he waiting for? And there was a lot of speculation. He went into hiding. And apparently six years later, he decided, uh, minus some of the samples that couldn't get cleared, he decided to release the same thing again and release it um, as it whatever its state it could be in out today, you know, assuming all the licenses and all that stuff is like cleared. Uh, he released it again in its form with a little explanation for why he's been gone for six years. I mean, in the me meantime, he did some stuff. He, his brother and him collaborated on a few things. His brother's an amazing producer too. He, he and his brother started the Paul Institute, which is just, you know, it's kind of like this, uh, um, I guess an incubator for a few artists that he, he and his brother really like, and it's based in London. There's a few uh, people on there. One of the, you guys might know, like, um, not one of you guys, but some of you guys might know the famous bass pl player um, Pino Palladino. His daughter is uh, on on their, I guess you could call it a label. She's she's with the Paul Institute, and she she's doing some stuff with them, and it's very exciting because they just they just want to help these artists grow. Uh, so they've been doing some stuff. Um, A.K. Paul, his brother, came out with some some really good tracks too. Um, I still listen to one of them called Land Cruising. It is a banger. I hope you have a subwoofer, guys. If you listen to Jai Paul, get a subwoofer. Um, but yeah, like he's been doing stuff, but he finally released this piece of this this explanation for where he's been with this album for six years, and it is just heartbreaking and. Um, special to 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 get a glimpse inside what was going through his head at the time apparently the album got leaked by someone who wasn't him everyone thought he was doing it as like some kind of publicity stunt or you know despite the fact that he and xl said the opposite but uh it was uploaded without his permission uh, two suspects get arrested a year later and their funds that they got from the Bandcamp sales got frozen and uh, he had to go through therapy. I mean, you should just read the letter. I'm, I'm just like butchering it, but um, go read, go download the album. It's pay what you want. It's available on streaming services. You can buy it for a pence, you know, one, one pence sterling. Um, but, you know, you can pay whatever you want. And when you download the album, like it was leaked in 2013, but cleared for samples um, and a little bit, a little bit different, um, you'll get the explanation in a little TXT file with it. And uh, I wish I had scooped up one of his um, 500 limited uh, vinyl uh, pressings of his new double single, B-Side. Um, but yeah, he explains that, you know, uh, he came out with two new songs as a thank you for everybody who's been patient with them, everybody who like said what's up to him when they saw him and were just safe. And he, he makes a big push and plea for for I think uh, mental health you know because uh, it really rocked his world for for this whole time and uh, he's at, at the end of the day uh, I think if we learn anything from this whole experience Jack Paul is a perfectionist and he uh, really really believes that you know the tracks were not finished <laughs> they just weren't presented in in the way that he wanted and uh, it was just very moving to to read it just because um as a songwriter uh, myself, I I have stuff I've been sitting on for 10 years, and uh, you guys have not heard it. Uh, only maybe a handful of people have heard it, just because I don't think it's ready yet. And uh, 10 years is a little ridiculous, a time to wait. You know, I might die before it gets released. But, um, you know, hearing his story and just kind of understanding a little bit and being able to relate, just like, wow, wow. Just like, imagine someone taking your song that's not finished selling it 
to everyone else. And then all these other people thinking that, you know, you're the crazy one because uh, you didn't release it yet. And then not even believing you when you say it's it wasn't yours. It wasn't your leak. But uh, what a devastating experience that he went through. And he seems to have come back out on the other side. So I've been saying this on, on Twitter and Reddit. It's just like, it's a great day. It's a great day for music. I mean, it's been a really exciting year in general for music. But um, Jai Paul uh, coming back, making new music, and hopefully will be making new music for a, a good chunk of time to come, is a very, very encouraging sign for for uh, the music world. And I'm like super, super stoked. You guys need to check it out. Um, yeah, if you're in London, you know, like. I hope he gets to play some shows that like I would I would probably fly to England just just to see that this, this dude is incredible he's he's like a generational talent so go check out Jai Paul um, that's it for me just wanted to get this out there peace out <laughs>